Hey, what's up everyone? Craig here for the Tropical Tribe. And when I was starting my tropical style garden, I searched far and wide for lists of plants that I could use to kickstart that exotic look in my garden. So here's my list for you of 30 tropical style plants that look fantastic in a tropical garden all year round. And if you already grow some of the plants in this list, keep count and comment below and let me know how many plants you're already growing. So let's kickstart this list with a plant that my wife finds hilarious because its common name is the honey spurge. <laughs> it's actually called a honey spurge. Is that really a thing? <laughs> anyway, its proper name is Euphorbia mellifera. It's a great evergreen shrub that will grow to form a perfectly round shape and it's got these nice green wafty leaves. And in spring, it produces really, really sweetly scented flowers, which is what earns it that name of honey spurge. And on a warm day, once the seed pods ripen, they explode, and you might get little seedlings of euphorbia popping up all over your garden. So it's a great plant to have if you're into propagating your own plants. And in the colder months of winter, euphorbia mellifera colors up like parrot feathers because the lower leaves on the shrub turn this orangey red color, which really make it a great year round shrub for your tropical style garden. And next up on the list is this Canary Island date palm, Phoenix canariensis. Now you may see some of these growing, especially in and around London to absolutely enormous proportions. And that's because the Victorians loved these date palms and often planted them out the front of their houses. And they are a lot tougher than they look. They give a really exotic vibe to any garden. And I think these palms, these date palms, are a great addition to your tropical styled garden. And if you're thinking about adding fragrance to your tropical style garden, then look no further than Daphne's. Daphne's are great evergreen shrubs that tolerate shade and come late winter and early spring. They produce such sweet smelling blooms. And of course, what tropical styled garden wouldn't be complete without its own palm tree? Now this beautiful looking palm is Trachycarpus fortunii. And it is one of the toughest palm trees that you can grow. I've seen them covered in snow and they always bounce back. And not only do they have these really, really exotic looking leaves, the trunks have an amazing fiber that covers them, which I think adds to that jungle texture in any tropical styled garden. Now, although these palms are quite slow growing, they can grow to reach absolutely gigantic proportions. So plan ahead and give them enough space to grow tall. And why not plant a pair so that in the future you can hang a hammock from your two Trachycarpus palm trees in your tropical style garden. And why not try Fatsia japonica for a very, very tropical looking evergreen leaf. These plants are extremely tough. And I think they are invaluable to anybody trying to create that tropical style in their garden. They just provide great evergreen structure with these glossy dark green leaves and they'll flower in late winter. And people don't often realize these can grow to be really, really tall plants and they'll give you a super exotic looking canopy in your tropical styled garden. Now some clever plant breeder decided to cross Fatsia japonica with English ivy and it created this, Fat Shedera. Now this is the variegated form, Fat Shedera lisii. And Fat Shedera has all of the climbing characteristics of ivy without being anywhere near as invasive, but it has that super tropical vibe of the Fatsia plant. There are a few different cultivars out there, so you can get plain green ones, variegated with yellow, or this white variegated one. And I really, really like these. I think they look super tropical. Now this one is a little bit less common. 
This is Pseudopanax laetus, and it's native to New Zealand. But again, surprisingly tough. And these palmate leaves just look fantastic all year round. Now these plants like milder spots in your garden if you can get them with a bit of shelter from cold drying winds. But just look how tropical these gigantic glossy green leaves are. This is in the same family as Fatsia and you can see these dark glossy evergreen leaves are obviously a family trait and I think glossy evergreen leaves really really are key to creating a lush tropical style garden all year round. And the next plant is also a pseudopanax, but it has a very different looking leaf. This is a hybrid, Tuatara cross saber, and it has these beautiful serrated leaves, which create a completely different architectural style to the other pseudopanax. But again, this one's evergreen. So you get these unusual looking tropical leaves that will add to your exotic style garden all year round. I think pseudopanax are great shrubs and you really should add some of these to your tropical style garden. And there are so many different sizes, shapes, and colors of leaves that you can use to add evergreen structure to your tropical garden. Okay, next up is a plant that a lot of us have seen growing around, but might not know its name. So this is Cordyline australis. And in New Zealand, they call this the cabbage tree. This is one very tough plant and they are hardy almost all over the UK. You can buy these as young plants where they'll happily establish and root into your garden and year after year will grow a longer and taller trunk holding those sword shaped leaves high above your garden. And in the warmer summer months, these cabbage palms produce a spike of dainty white flowers that are super sweetly scented. And as you walk underneath your palm tree, you'll hear the buzz of bees and wasps and other pollinators enjoying those flowers in your garden. This is another super tropical looking climber. This is Peleostega viburnumoides, which is a slow growing evergreen climber that produces flowers that look a bit like a hydrangea. I just really, really like these glossy evergreen leaves And how about adding some variegation to your garden? This is Fatsia japonica spider's web, which is an amazingly variegated plant. Sometimes it can produce pure white leaves, but most of the time you get these white leaves with a green venation growing through the leaves. It's a great plant for brightening up darker spots in your garden because they tolerate shade really, really well. Next up is a dream plant for a lot of people, and that's me included. This is Dixonia antarctica, commonly called the tree fern. These plants are surprisingly tough. They've coped with snow, ice, and scorching drought in summer. In the coldest winters, it's best to protect the crown of these. And if it does get to drought, make sure you water these from the top of the plant. But what adds a more lush, jungly look to a tropical style garden more than a giant tree fern? The fronds can grow to make an absolutely enormous canopy, casting dappled shade over any garden. And I just think they're really, really great plants. But because they're so slow growing, they can be expensive. If you're looking for a faster growing fern, then look no further than Woodwardia radicans. This is the giant chain fern. It's called the chain fern because each time it grows and the tip of one of the leaves touches the ground, a baby fern will grow. And in time, it will form a chain of these beautiful giant ferns. And if you're growing your tropical style garden somewhere that has milder winters, you can get away with growing this beautiful fern outdoors all year round. Next up, we've got another fern, Blechnum chiliensis, which is another great evergreen fern for your tropical styled garden. And if it's happy in a shaded or semi-shaded spot with moist soil, it will form a thicket of ferns all over a patch in your garden. So it's a great fern for evergreen ground cover. And seeing as we're on a bit of a fern thing at the moment, look at this giant. 
This is the rarer Lophosauria quadrupinata, which is an amazing fern that will grow to proportions where you can sit underneath it with a table and chairs and the fronds will stretch over your head and cast you into shade. But what's special about this fern is that it has metallic blue undersides to its leaves. Just take a look at this. It's really, really amazing. And again, surprisingly hardy. Even when the other ferns struggle outdoors, this one just shakes off the cold. It is a, a really, really amazing fern, but rare. So keep your eye out for anywhere that might be selling it. And next up, how about an evergreen plant that loves the same condition as ferns, so it combines with them really, really well? This is Farfugium japonicum oreo maculatum, and it has these really cool yellow speckles on the leaves. Now, it doesn't look like it's gonna be evergreen, but it is. But be warned, slugs love this plant, so make sure you protect it from them. And you will be treated to these golden speckled leaves all year round. This is a plant that is very, very rarely seen for sale. It's called Mellow Solanum Decipens, and it's commonly called the giant cow parsley. Now, cow parsley is that wafty, white flowered plant that you see in hedgerows in the summer months, while this is like the jungle version of that on steroids. It grows to form a tree with these lush evergreen leaves and this striped stem, and in summer produces a crown of white flowers. Now it will die once it flowers, but it self seeds freely, so you'll have lots of seedlings popping up in your garden. Next up is a much rarer version of a plant that a lot of us will commonly grow. This is an orchipa, but its species is Omeanthus, and it has these gigantic serrated waxy evergreen leaves, and it's these huge leaves that make this plant a really, really great addition to any tropical styled garden. Here's something a bit special. It's not a fern. This is a tree with leaves that look just like ferns. This is called Lamartia ferrugini, and it's one of those plants that loves to grow on acid soil. And I don't grow this one myself, but I'd love to because I really, really like that ferny foliage. And you can see that it grows up on a tall stem. So it's actually a tree. I'd love to know in the comments below if any of you are already growing this amazingly beautiful plant. Now, those of you who subscribe to the channel will know I love any plants that have a palmate leaf. And Schefflera is a genus of plants that have these amazing tropical hand-like leaves. And I think they are invaluable for tropical and exotic style gardens. And you can get so many different species now that are hardy because they grow on mountain regions in exotic countries. Schefflerette are in the same family as Fatsia, so they have that glossy, thick, evergreen leaf, which means that it will look lush and jungly all year round in your garden. Well, how about something grassy that maybe you could use as an edging plant or to underplant bigger plants in your garden? Well then try Libertia grandiflora, which is a great evergreen plant that has these silvery gray bluey leaves and in spring produces masses of white flowers. And you can see here how effective it is to have this plant planted on mass and it can stitch together much bigger plants like these cord lines that we saw earlier in this video. And if you're looking for evergreen tropical style trees, then try the loquat tree, or its Latin name is Eriobitria japonica. I love this tree for its thick corrugated leaves and the way it holds them on the canopy of the tree, I think just looks super, super exotic. And if you have a mild winter, the flowers will survive. And in spring, it will be covered in masses of orange loquat fruits, which are edible. Now, if you're looking for a palm leaf, but you don't have the space to let plants go really, really tall, then try this. This is called the Chusan palm, or Camarops humilis. It grows very much like that Trachycarpus palm tree we saw earlier in the video, but it stays much lower and much more shrubby, and it has a tendency to grow multi-headed. So you get like a hedge 
of palm type leaves. But be warned, unlike the Trachycarpus, this palm tree has sharp spikes all the way along its stems. And when you're getting in there to weed or cut off dead leaves, it has a tendency to get you when you're not expecting it. But that said, if you're careful, it makes an amazing plant for any tropical styled garden. And if you're looking for a plant that will give you the best of both worlds, that's giant evergreen, glossy leaves and enormous sweetly scented flowers, then try Magnolia grandiflora. These plants are really, really easy and you can keep them as a hedge, as a shrub, or let it grow wild and grow into a canopy in your tropical styled garden. And another variegated plant that is actually really well suited to coastal sites so it won't get burnt by the salty winds if you're near to the sea is this Grisellania littoralis, variegata. I really like this one. I think the patchy variegation is really, really cool. And even on the dullest days of winter, this plant is having a party all on its own because the variegation just brightens up your garden when there's a real lack of flowers in those cold, dull winter months. And here's something a bit special, Roldana petasites. Now someone once described the unusual shape of these leaves as frog feet. I think it's the perfect description and because they're so strange, it will stand out in your tropical styled garden. They are evergreen and they flower in spring with yellow flowers. Now, they're not quite as hardy as everything else on this list, but they are definitely worth a try. The Victorians loved to grow this plant as a house plant. It's Aspidistra, and they called it the cast iron plant because it is tough as old boots. And it's surprisingly hardy outside in colder winters, like here in the UK. And because it's so tough, you can use it to grow in those difficult spots like dry shade underneath mature trees. This is definitely worth a go and keep an eye out for the variegated forms with spotty leaves or stripy leaves. Now, I've shown you the regular version of Cordline Australis, that cabbage tree, but how about this? This is a variegated form called Torbay Dazzler and I think it's absolutely stunning. This will brighten up the canopy of your tropical styled garden, even on dull winter days. And I think, as you've seen in this video, that variegated plants are a great plant for brightening up dark spots in your garden. And why not try a stelia? This is a silver leafed form, which looks almost metallic, but you can get so many different colors of this plant. It's similar to formium, but has a much bushier habit and less of a tendency to get all spotty and full of dead leaves. And last but not least, of course, the camellia. What tropical garden in the UK is not complete without a camellia? It has these lush, dark green, glossy leaves, which I love so, so much. But it has the treat of enormous and brightly colored flowers in spring. And there are so many different shapes and sizes of flowers. It astounds me. And these plants cope with shade, making them a real bonus plant for dense tropical style gardens. Whoa. So there you go. There's my list of exotic and tropical plants that will make that tropical vibe and style in your garden and keep it looking lush and happy and healthy all year round. Like I say, comment below and let me know how many of these plants you're already growing. And let me know if there's plants on this list that were new to you and that you're going to go looking for so that you can grow them in your own tropical styled garden. Again, thank you so much for watching and be sure to hit subscribe so you can join the tropical tribe. I will see you all in the next video.